Hey makers this is Dravin and in this episode I am going to talk about dataverse ai function in depth in dataverse now five ai based functions are available using those dataverse function you can summarize your data you can translate the language you can perform the sentiment analysis you can reply the automatic draft with the content that is being provided along with that you can perform classification as well on your data so let's talk about all of these ai function in depth with me with real life use cases but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content on power platform so without further delay let's get started to start that journey first of all we need to connect environment table into our power apps application for that go to the data source click on add data and search here for environment and you will be able to see this database over here just click on that and that will add that data source in your computer so i'm clicking on this and it has added this dataverse environment table connection over here now here on this page i have taken one text box and one label control over here and i have taken one button control now whenever i am adding any content over here it will just summarize this content with the ai summarize function so let's get started so here i have taken one local context variable variable summary and what i am doing here is i am just start typing a function environment dot ai summarize and you can see that it is providing you the suggestion as well over here inside that you need to provide the text so here i am just doing a text and i am taking the text from this text box so let's copy the id of the text box over here text input to dot text and that's it let's just finish the curly braces finish the bracket and here how it looks like So AI summarize is the function which is used to summarize your content and now what i need to do as an outcome is whatever i have added here in this variable just go to the label and just provide variable summary dot summarize text so whatever it summarize it just print over here now let me start doing the testing of it and let me add some content over here so so what i'm doing here is I am just adding couple of paragraph related copilot history and let me just click on ai summarize and let's see what it come up as an outcome for us so it start executing and you can see that almost 4 to 5 paragraph is summarized into this text like this so it just create a summary for whatever content you are providing over here for that you don't need to connect any custom ai builder over here with just native environment dataverse function you can simply achieve this stuff okay so this was the first function ai summarize okay and which is available inside your dataverse environment table environment.ai summarize now let's move towards the second use case now in second use case i am going to perform some sort of sentiment analysis over here sometimes we are receiving different kind of feedback in our feedback system now what i am going to do is i am going to add couple of feedback over here into this text box and what i will do is perform the sentiment analysis on top of that i will at least get to know that whether the feedback is positive negative or it didn't understand and it just provided that sentiment over here now coming to the same use case i will consider my third use case over here that no matter whether the feedback is positive or not negative with ai reply we will automatically provide reply to the content that we have provided over here so now let's get started and implement that from scratch so again here i have taken one text box and this is one button control so here again i am taking one context variable to store my result ai sentiment and i am using a ai function environment dot ai sentiment so this is the function and inside that you need to provide text as a parameter and this text box as a reference so environment dot ai sentiment and this text box value we are passing into it and what as a result we are doing here is i have taken one label control over here and in label control in the text property i am just providing that variable variable ai sentiment dot analyze sentiment so whatever sentiment it analyze we just print it over here 
okay so let's just have a look and see what it come up with so let's say this is one training company's data which i'm adding over here so let me just add some comment over here so here i'm adding the comment like this the core screen captured videos are out of the date and shows the classic gui of power platform this make it very difficult to follow even switching to classic view in power apps it doesn't respond in the same manner so whichever uh, training company is selling some videos it has some old ui and users are facing some difficulty to follow through the content right now the thing is that it seems like it's a negative sentiment but let's verify that i'm clicking on ai sentiment and it will store that variable and it will print the sentiment over here so you can see that i'm getting a negative sentiment over here for us okay now let's say for an example let me add one more stuff over here let me add one positive feedback here to verify whether it's working fine or not so again i'm adding one uh another positive feedback for one of the customer great thank you so much for the admission and it's very easy to understand and all this whole content that person has added and i'm just doing some ai sentiment and you can see here now i'm getting over here the very positive feedback over here now let's say these are the different comment and now with the ai itself i want to reply to this comment over here then there is one more function available in the dataverse ai function which is ai reply so now let's explore that if i want to provide a response to this feedback how can i do that for that again i have taken one update context variable and inside that i am using this dataverse function environment.ai reply and in that ai reply i am providing the input of this text box and now what it will do is it will simply draft the reply for the provided text over here okay so let's just try that out and with this ai reply whatever is generated over here i am printing on the label so what i am doing here is this is my label control and here i am printing ai reply dot prepared response so whatever response is prepared by this button we are just printing that property over here so now let's just click on that and generate the reply over here so i'm clicking on ai reply and here we are you can see that for this text it drafted this response thank you so much for your enthusiastic feedback we are glad to hear that you are enjoying and learning the opportunity provided by course it's great to see your excitement as a fresher to complete the course and apply the practical knowledge in your work the practice exams are designed to challenge you and help you to learn new techniques and important concept we appreciate your kind words and congratulate shan to the team behind the course if you have any question or need further assistance feel free to connect us or let us know keep us great work so see it drafted this content automatically for you with the ai reply function now let's try one more thing let's add some negative sentiment over here and see how it respond over there so i'm just pasting here this content i'm doing ai sentiment it's negative and now i'm clicking on ai reply button so whatever content we have depending on that it started generating this content for us so you can see that it has added a line that thank you for bringing up the issue to our attention obviously it in it is an issue because videos are out of the date we apologize for any inconvenience caused by the outdated core screen captured by the video showing the classic gui of power platform we understand this can make it difficult to follow along and it just drafted uh, the other content as well over here and if we look at that it just provided a proper draft for us now we can simply copy and paste it to the comment or maybe uh, you can integrate the email system over here as well which will automatically reply and makes your life much more simpler so these are other two use case ai sentiment and ai reply with dataverse ai function now let's move one more level up now we are going to use ai translate function in depth so what i am going to achieve here is here i have taken one text box control one drop down control where i have different languages and ai translate button and here is the result box in the label so what we are going to do is 
I am going to add any co uh, content over here and if I paste that content and select any language, it will appropriately change that language over here and show it to me. Okay. And for that, what I have done here, let me just show it to you. So on visible of the screen, simply I have added a language collection over here. So I just created a collection, collection languages and here are the different language and the code of the language. This code of the language you will find from the official Microsoft site. So this is the language abbreviation for each language. Like for Hindi, it is HI, Germany, it is DE. For French, it is FR and English, it's EN. Okay, so this code is somewhat which we are going to use in our translation. So this is what the collection look like language and code. And what I have done is using this collection, I bind this particular drop down. So in items, I just use that collection and in value, I just provided the language. So it's just showing the different languages over here. Now, the AI function come up into picture over here. So what I'm doing here is I have created one local variable over here, variable translated language. And inside that we are using dataverse function environment dot AI translate. And in AI translate, I am passing two parameter text and target language. So text is nothing but your text box text and target language is nothing but your drop down selected code. So drop down one dot selected dot code. That's what I have added over here. Now, what I'm doing here is simply let me copy and paste some content over here for the translation. So what I'm doing here is I'm writing one paragraph from English newspaper of G20 summit, which is happened in India. Now, what I want is it should be translated into different language and already we use this AI translate function over here. Now, this variable where we have stored this result, which will provide us the translated text. So in this label, I have taken text as a whatever variable is that dot translated text, which means that whatever translation happened over here, it will just print that translation from that variable. Now, let me just do the French translation first. So I'm just doing AI translate. And in a few seconds, you can clearly see that this English to French conversion has been happened perfectly over here. Although I don't know French, but anyone who is watching my video and know French, let me know in the comment section how that translation is look like, whether it's correct or incorrect. But I know one language which is Hindi. So let me try it out with that. So I'm just doing AI translate again for the Hindi language. And over here, I am reading this Hindi content and it looks perfectly fine. Okay. So, uh, I really like the way it translated perfectly. And over here, we haven't used any kind of Azure API or any kind of language translator or any connector. It's just a Dataverse AI function and that makes our life much more simpler and easier. Isn't it cool? Let me know in the comment section how this Hindi translation is looking like. Same way, let me try with the German language and I'm just doing here with German and this is how the translation looks like. Yeah, so this is fourth AI function, AI translate. Now let's do one more level up and go to the last use case of this AI based function. Sometimes there is a need that we want to classify our data or classify our content and it should be in more automated way. Let's say for an example, you have a ticketing system for your IT help desk and let's say you are getting a ticket related hardware, software, some technical support or those kind of thing. And you want to transfer that ticket to appropriate department to take an action. So based on the ticket content, you want to classify your data. At the time, you can use AI classify function for yourself. So how to start with? So here again, I have taken one text box, one button and one label control for showing the classification result. For that function available, which is called as AI classify. So let's see how it looks like. So on select of the button, what I'm doing here is I have taken one variable AI cat. And inside that, I'm just using a AI function environment.ai classify. So this is the function AI classify function classify your content into different categories. Okay. So inside that, 
I have taken three parameters over here. Text parameter, which is again your text box input dot text. Allow multiple category. Should it categorize into multiple? No, I need one category for the content. So I just make it false. But let's say if you want to retrieve multiple categories for the content, you can make it true. And here you can provide in which category you want to classify. So let's say here in my case, the possible uh, categories are hardware, software, licensing, technical. Okay. And depending on that, I want to classify my data. So I just provided here like hardware, software, license and technical in the array format like this. So we just provided three parameter text allow multiple and what are the category in which you want to classify your data. And now let's just test this out. So let's say for an example, this is something which is storing the result into this variable. So this variable dot classification is something which we simply want to print here. So I'm just printing here like variable AI cat dot classification. Okay. Now let me just enter some text over here. Like let's say, please install the hardware for me. And let's do AI classification and it just classify the category as hardware. Let's say I'm just entering like, please install Camtasia for me. So Camtasia is again a software. So it automatically categorize that as a software category. Let me add one more content over here. Please help me to implement the language translation feature in the app. I need technical support for that to design a solution. And let's do AI classification and you can see that it considered as a technical support kind of thing. So it just classify as a technical. Okay. So for this kind of classification, now you don't need to train anything with AI. It just makes your life much more simpler and easier. Okay. So yeah, that's it for today. So we started our journey with AI summarize. Then we do AI sentiment analysis and AI reply. And then we talked about AI translation and at last we talked about AI category classification. Now tell me in the comment section, which one of these AI function did you like the most? And tell me your use case that how you are going to use into your real life project in the comment section. Hope this video helps you and values your time. If so, hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel. And if you are looking for any paid consultation or training, the website link is available on the channel cover homepage. So do check it out. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. With this, this is Throveen signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.